so I did that real rough sketch. And I got the composition down and I thought it all was kind of flowing quite well. Got the position of the boat, got the water, got these fish, got the boat going in this direction, got the fish going there. It kind of balances out. I got all the people down. So what I did is, and you hear what I'm doing now, is on the back of this tracing paper, this is actually the board that I'm going to be painting. I don't, it's it just, it's a funny one. It's like a big eye. I do. Take two inches, that takes against Yeah, Pam hooked a different kind of fish. I'm going to have to go into here with this exacto knife and cut out all these lines. And I'll leave nothing but, oh. The only thing showing on the board will be the sky. That way I'll be able to paint it. And I'll be able to uh, have continuity in the sky. 
what I'm gonna do is I gotta go and cut that out and peel that off, and then I will start uh, painting that, painting the sky behind that ship. Pam's fish is making me nervous. And I've only done that twice, huh? It's a big albacore. Or it's a big itunna. There goes a blue shark. There's a baby blue. Some shape to the sky. And uh, some depth to the sky. His bit, of course. The only jig. Remember. When you have his bit behind your boat, you're going to say his bit often. All is that, the time. Is that what they say? <laughs> when I come down, I got an animal here that's deep underwater, and I'll finish him. And I'll put a lot of color on top of him to sink him back into the water. And then I got to start to work with my airbrush after I paint these animals to push and pull these animals in order to get them in different depths of water. This one, obviously up here, this animal here, he's obviously back, he'll be farthest, you might not see him. I leave him at this point here, I could push and pull him, depending on, you might see me going with some brush and work him a little bit later. Uh, this main animal, these anchovies, will be the front right here, as clean and clear as the gladiator boat that I've got messed off. And what I want to do is create that, I want people to be able to say, hey, um, obviously you scuba dive, and you can see, and you know what it's like to see underwater. Well, that's, that's my objective. I want people who've been underwater to be able to say, hey, he must have taken this photograph while this happened. But actually, actually it's all up here.